Hey guys, welcome to today's video and it's time to continue What If Raditz Came to Earth Early. So in the last video, we're going to discontinue the Ginyu fight. Because I made a mistake in the power levels when I started talking about that fight. I did it as though the humans were fighting without Guru's potential unlocking. So I stated that their power levels were in the 40 thousands. Which was true before they got their potential unlocked. So before the potential unlocking, Chen would have a power level of 45,000, Krullen 44, Yamcha 42 and Chaozu 40. Meaning that after the potential unlocking, their power levels would all be over 300,000. So now Ginyu arrives, he steps up to take them on, all of them th suppressing their power levels. Now they can sense how strong Ginyu is, and Tien steps up and raises his power level to match Ginyu's just to freak him out a bit. Then Krohn steps up and raises his even higher, Yamcha even higher, Chaozu higher and then they all continue to raise their power level to max. This forces Ginyu to panic, he's screaming, he doesn't know what to do. If he takes one body, any of the others can still defeat him. So he doesn't know who to take. In this moment of panic from Ginyu, Tien just blasts him and wipes out Captain Ginyu. This showing up on Freezer's scout of the entire thing. He he's infuriated. There's or power levels over 300,000 on Namek. Freezer in his first form is about 500,000. So, yes, they can't defeat him, but together they might be able to do something to him in his first form. They could overpower him. So, Freezer has sent out some troops to find the Dragon Balls, and he's heading straight over. So in the time frame that it took Freezer to get to Namek, we'll say it was about a week. And you know that means it's time for Goku and group to arrive. They do arrive near Guru's house, near where the humans already are. While Freezer is on the other side of the planet. Goku gets out with his brother, his nephew Kame, and also Vegeta. So after this training, Goku and Vegeta had the most intensive training. Anyway, in this time frame, Goku, in his training leading up to Namek, he got a boost to around 90,000. So Vegeta, when he got to Namek in canon, he was over 20,000, around 25,000. So with his training, we put Vegeta at roughly 100,000, maybe just a little bit more. But Goku, he already had a power level of 80,000 now, so we put him at around 150,000. Because he was already using this training, it was already familiar to him, so it wasn't as tough a push on his body. and also. He couldn't intensify training too much because he was training with Vegeta. Kami, he would have a power level of 130,000 because he was training with both groups. He wasn't much weaker than Goku or Raditz. But Raditz, he had to hold back training his son, so he didn't get... His power boost wasn't as strong as the others, but he is still stronger than Vegeta. He's got to 125,000. And Bardock, we'll put him at about 90,000. They all meet the humans and ask what's going on. They tell them that Freezer is on the planet, he brought some elite troops. Vegeta is shot into the Ginyus. They all nod. Vegeta says, then we're doomed if Freezer's here with the Ginyus. Tien just laughs and says, are you kidding? We've already wiped them out. 
and Ginyu's were no problem. They're weak. Vegeta looked at them and goes, How? How have you gotten this strong? Kakarot! They're stronger than you! They're just humans! They all smirk and say, We had a little help. This is when Nail says, Our elder guru. He has the power to unlock potentials. He's the creator of Dragon Balls. Vegeta grabs Nail and says, Now, get him to unlock my potential. I can become far stronger than these humans. Nail says to him, Don't grab me like that. No one with such attitude, such disrespect, should have his potential unlocked. Someone like you, you're not worthy. Besides, you would cause too much trouble with that kind of power. Jeter just chucks him and just grunts to himself. He's disappointed and angry. But Goku goes up to Nail and says, What about me, my brother, my nephew and Kami? Oh, can we meet Guru? Nail nods and says, Yes, I can tell that you are pure. You're good people. Now, all of us, let's go inside and talk to Guru. This freezer is fast approaching. All of you should suppress your power levels. So as they're talking to Guru, he says it would be a good idea to unlock the potentials of four of them. Unlocking Goku's potential, the initial boost is incredible. So after this, that would mean that Bardock's potential, his actual power level, would be an incredible 820. Thousand. Then get to Raditz. It would be. It would be nine hundred and sixty thousand. With Kami's being around the same, and Goku be one point two million. So Fraser Scout has picked this up, despite the fact that everyone has suppressed their power levels. This boost is picked up by the scouters and Freezer has pinpointed their location. But when Goku's power is unlocked, it blows out the scouter. Freezer only roughly knows where he's going and heads straight over there, now worried that there's a power level of over a million. He stops and figures if there's a power level that high, he needs to transform straight away. So he heads into his second form. Now, this is around the same power level as Goku now. Freezer starts charging towards them. They've all just sensed this massive boost. Nail says to them, get him away from here. Lord Guru can't die. So they all step outside, showing Freezer where they are, and then they head off to a nearby island. Freezer just follows them. He says, well, Vegeta, looks like you made some friends. Vegeta just growls at him. Vegeta is the weakest fighter, but he is still incredibly strong compared to what he was. Freeze says, is this little Raditz? I thought you were dead. Raditz just smirks and says, I've become far stronger than you can imagine, Freezer. And today, we'll avenge the Saiyan race. We know it was you. And now, we're going to defeat you. You'll never get your hands on the Dragon Balls. Freezer just laughs and says, And what are you going to do? You little Raditz. With your power level was barely a thousand last time I saw you. And Raditz smirks and says, that power level you just checked on your scour. Reading over 900,000. That was me. Now, Fraser is shocked and says, Well, you have become stronger, haven't you, Rex? But, it 
is still not as strong as me in my new form, my second form. Goku steps up and says, no, but I am. Freezer is shocked, but who's this? He looks so familiar. Raditz says, he should. This is my brother, Kakarot. Freezer looks and says, Kakarot, I've never heard of you. Raditz is brother. Ah, I recognise you. So, Raditz, your father was the one that challenged me before I blew up your planet. It's only fitting that I kill his sons here. The last defiant Saiyans. And Vegeta, you've become stronger so maybe you'll fall in line again and take Ginyu's place. Vegeta just spits to the floor and says, Never! So now Goku charges Freezer and even fights to start with. Freezer can see that his second form. Goku can still more than hold his own. And as the fight continues, Goku's potential unlocking it's still increasing. He's getting stronger and stronger as the fight goes on, beginning to overpower Freezer in his second form. And don't forget, he's still got all the backup of all the others. They're all still there, ready to fight. This is when Freezer transforms into his third form. Now, he's so much stronger. Can Goku and the others actually beat him now? Or will Freezer just wipe him out? This is all questions for the next video guys. If you like the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye.